In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, the first option comes. You can see it's a simple uh, rectangular option where I've added the icon, the option number, the title, and some detailed text. When I click, it will show you the second option, then the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. As you can see here, I've added some different color combination to its borders or the outlines. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this QR code and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rectangles rounded corner. Just click it and I'm going to change the height and width of this square to make it two inches you can see here then shape outline i'm going to give any gray color outline and then you can increase the weight to maybe three points and shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and you can see the small orange point here just drag this outside to make the corners less curved all right and then i'm just going to put it here now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and I'm just going to place it like this and again press ctrl D you can see here so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease this option so one two three four five and I can I can add one more total six are there so now I'm going to select all these shapes by holding the shift key and I'm going to adjust it in the center all right so I've got this one now I'm going to select one by one and I'm going to change the color of this outline so you can just choose any color of your uh, priority or preference so I'm just going to select the shape outline I can just go and select the first color which is the light green color then I'm going to select the second color the third this color blue and then I'm going to make it more darker blue and this is you can see here it's indigo color so six colors i have added for these options now the next thing which i'm going to insert the icon so go to insert icons uh, for this you need to have the latest version of powerpoint at least 2016 onwards so randomly i'm just going to add six different icons you can see here and i'm going to add one more click insert now i'm going to make the height and width to 0.5 and move it outside and then i'm going to place each icon you can see here i can just place it here this icon i want here then this one it comes here and this one and this icon again i can just select by holding the shift key and you can just change the color according to your requirement so i'm going to make it more lighter color you can see here somewhat lighter color then go to insert text box and i'm going to type 01 make it bold if you want increase the size center align and i'm going to put it here exactly on the bottom of the icon press ctrl d to duplicate and add it here you can see here one by one you have to just duplicate and uh, spend a little bit of time to align it properly you can see here and this is the last one and i'm going to change the numbers to two three four five and six and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some detailed text for that go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one i'm going to add some text and this much long text i don't need i'm going to delete that one let me just make it center align reduce the font size maybe to 10 or lesser than that and then i'm going to put it here you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate you just need to add one by one and then duplicate again ctrl d yes once this is done you can add the titles so i'm just going to say title again center align make it bold if you want you can reduce the size and i'm just going to put it again at the top of this press ctrl d to duplicate you 
you can see here I have added the titles as well so once this is done I'm going to select these options hold the shift key all right and press ctrl g to group it now i'm going to select this one make sure if you select like this this icon will be selected so you need to just select this one and whichever is not selected i'm holding the shift key and i'm going to select this option and press ctrl g to group it so let me just repeat it for the same thing here ctrl g and here also ctrl g and then this also we need to do a ctrl g to group it so the grouping has been done now it's time to do the animation so i'm going to press ctrl a to select all the objects go to the animation pane enable the animation pane here then i'm going to add animation and i'm going to select fly in fly in i'm going to choose the effect from top or depending on your requirement you can change it and then i'm going to make this with on click and then right mouse click effect options and i'm going to bounce and i'm just going to make it 0.25 or you can increase or decrease it and click ok so now if i play it comes like this the first option second third fourth fifth and sixth 